faith is coming into agreement with the Almighty for the fulfillment of his commitment. Hallelujah. Faith is coming into agreement with the Almighty for the fulfillment of his commitment. In the journey of faith, God said it, you agreed. Coming into agreement with the Almighty for the fulfillment of his commitment. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and in verse 1 to verse 2. Then it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God. That is, agree with him. He said this, agree. Amos chapter 3 verse 3. He said, how can two be agreed? Can two walk together except they be agreed? The faith matter is very simple. God said, if you obey and serve me, you will spend your days in prosperity and your years in pleasure. Some people said, how is that possible? In the journey of faith, you stupidly agree. Agreement with God is what is called belief. I agree with you means I believe what you said. And what is the content of the agreement? What is the entire detail of the agreement? If they obey and they serve him. So I, I agree. So I will obey you. So I will serve you. What is the commitment of God? They will spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. All right? I am not the one to make God do his own. When they say a person is a great man of faith, it means that he greatly agrees with God easily. He agrees with God effortlessly, neatly. He believes God stupidly. He has no questions. He's not in argument with God. 